Hey, what's up everyone? Ting O here, physical therapist with Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. So today what I'd like to teach you is what you can do on your own to help yourself get out of shoulder pain. So one of the things I'd like to show is the areas that you really should focus your attention on in doing some type of self-treatment techniques. And uh, I'll show you exactly through live ultrasound the critical areas to focus on and also some of the tools you can utilize to help get into those areas to try and help uh, structures like the rotator cuff if they have like tendonitis or tendinopathy to work on them to get them starting to feel better. So stay tuned and I'll show you those things in a second. Alright so what we have here is a live ultrasound um, image here that we can see what the rotator cuff is doing under certain conditions. So one of the key structures that gets affected in people's shoulder pain is the rotator cuff and there's three or four parts of the rotator cuff. Uh, what I want to show you is uh, the one that's most commonly uh, injured is the supraspinatus tendon. For those of you who don't know the supraspinatus tendon sits right in the front outside tip of the shoulder right here. Uh, right underneath that bone or what we call the acromion right here. So um, I'm going to get um, this ultrasound image here and you can see uh, the supraspinatus tendon I don't know how well you can see that there but that's that little sh beak sh beak like shape right there so you can see right there with the acromion and the supraspinatus tendon it's not really that much of the supraspinatus tendon that's sticking past the acromion so when you want to actually work on the supraspinatus a great way to expose that supraspinatus is to put your shoulder behind your back and as you can see, once we get the shoulder behind the back, that tendon is sticking out quite a way more from the acromion. And this way we can really get in there with some uh, tools to really work on that supraspinatus tendon. Now it's exposed, we can really get into it. Okay, the other part that um, uh, is commonly injured is the infraspinatus. And the infraspinatus tendon comes across this way, again, right underneath that, uh, that bone of the acromion. So on Kathy here, we can see that infraspinatus across here now. So you can see where the ultrasound is, it's pointing sideways. So when you know that um, the, uh, that, that tendon is injured, what you want to do is work on that uh, uh, infraspinatus tendon um, towards the side and also to the back of the acromion process. Another commonly injured part of the, super, the uh, rotator cuff is the subscapularis tendon. This is a tough one to expose. And um, you'll know you have some issues there if you have pain right in the front inside of the shoulder. So we have a look at Kathy's shoulder here. Um, we're going to find her bicep tendon, which is that little round bit there. And the, the uh, subscapularis tendon is actually sitting right here inside on the inside of the, uh, the chest. So the way we can expose that is if we rotate Kathy's shoulder outwards and now you can see that the uh, subscapularis tendon really pops out to the front of the shoulder so if you want to work that subscapularis tendon you got to work it in that position there so knowing some of the uh, the very common rotator cuff tendons and how they can be exposed and where they're at can really help if you're looking at managing shoulder pain so that's a quick anatomy lesson for you and uh, just stay tuned and we'll show you exactly what you can do once you know those tendons are injured on how to get them feeling better. All right, so after that quick anatomy lesson, uh, the, quick, the areas to, to really focus on are just uh, the supraspinatus, the infraspinatus, subscapularis, and also the bicep tendon, uh, which can sometimes get implicated as well. So if you remember, there's a bone on the top of my shoulder called the acromion that sits right there. And um, on the outside tip, when I put my hand behind my back, my supraspinatus tendon comes down this way. So that's an area to really focus on and if you touch that area and it's really painful, then the subscapularis tendon is mostly impacted. The other part is the infraspinatus and that runs down this way to the back of the shoulder. So don't discount that muscle right there. And the other one is the subscapularis where You'll only access the subscapularis if you externally rotate your arm, and that will sit somewhere in this area right here. Okay, so knowing those areas, um, you can start getting yourself some uh, treatment massage tools and be able to focus on some of those tendons. So some of the, the areas that you can use, you can use a, a scraper for instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization, where you put some cream on and you just uh, gently knead the tendons. 
you can use a tennis ball or any sort of uh, massage balls like lacrosse balls. Get into those areas and really, really need those tendons. Um, you can use a Theracane, which is another fantastic tool. Um, using these little knobs, uh, getting into those tendons and manipulating them. But if you have it available, um, the greatest tool that you could probably use at home is one of these percussion massages. We like the Hypervolt because of the, uh, the durability and also the, uh, the power that it exists. So let me turn this on and I'll show you exactly what I've been doing to help myself because I've been having some shoulder problems recently. So I'm going to crank it on and um, first of all, uh, my problem was uh, with my supraspinatus tendon. So remember, the supraspinatus tendon is exposed when you put your hand behind your back. So I'm going to pop my hand behind my back like that. It'll pop that tendon out and what you want to do is find that tendon and really get that hypervolt right into that tendon. And if you do have a problem there, you'll feel it. And um, you want to work on it for maybe a minute or so, um, or until some of that tenderness starts to ease up a little bit. Okay, so supraspinatus works really well with the hypervolt. Um, after that, to be able to get to the infraspinatus tendon, put your hand on your opposite shoulder or under your armpit, and that'll expose that coming from the back of the shoulder. And remembering where the bone is, you want to be just on the other side of the bone to really work that tendon. And if you're flexible enough or you have someone there to help you, really get into the back of the shoulder because that's where the infraspinatus tendon a lot of times gets impacted. And again, spending a couple of minutes on that tendon. And then finally, the other critical area is the biceps and the subscapularis tendon. To be able to get access to that, you're going to have to externally rotate your arm and then this way it puts the tendon right into the front of the, the, the body and you can get in there and hit that tendon right there. And the tendon really comes internally. There's a little bone that sticks here called your coracoid process. A lot of times there's a lot of tenderness of the muscles coming off that coracoid process. So you can really dig in deep with this one because sometimes you got to get through that pectoralis major muscle which some of the big guys have a major muscle there. And to me, that feels like fantastic. And if the bicep tendon is impacted, don't be afraid to run down your arm a little bit down into the bicep tendon, which can be really good at helping those muscles. So um, if you have shoulder pain, uh, there's a chance that you might have some tendonitis or tendinopathies of your rotator cuff. Um, rather than just blindly working all over the shoulder, really know what tendons are impacted, and that way you can actually focus the targeting uh, to those tendons which will give you so much more effectiveness in terms of treating your own shoulder. Once you've done that, uh, a great thing to do afterwards is exercise. Um, we actually put together a nice little video on the top exercises you can do for shoulder pain. Um, I'll, references I'll reference it down in the comments, feel free to look down there. So um, if you do have shoulder pain, try some of these techniques on your own. If uh, you try it for like three to four weeks and you're still not getting anywhere, don't be afraid to go visit your physical therapist like us here at Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. We have some, uh, some I'll call it industrialized tools or um, um, medical grade tools such as the Miracle Wave or Acoustic Wave that can really get in deeper than the, the Hypervolt, even though the Hypervolt gets in pretty deep. Uh, some of the other tools that we have can really get down in there to break up the tissues to help the healing process. So. Uh, stay tuned to this channel. Uh, if you like the content that you see here today, be sure to um, subscribe and like this uh, video. And um, good luck with your treating your own shoulder out there. And remember, be sure to know what you're doing because you can always hurt yourself if you do the wrong things. And if you're not 100% sure, please consult a physical therapist.